Hi guys and welcome to your November 2021. This is going to be the What Aren't They Telling You Timeless Reading. This is the first half of the month for the beautiful sign of Pisces. Sun, moon, rising, and Venus. If you're new here with me, hello, hello. If you are returning, welcome back. If you're subscribed to the Tribe and what's good, bam, bam. So hello to my members, my patrons, and my coffee club members. Pisces, for you and your collective, everything that you need is below in the description box. I want to take a moment to thank you guys for your well wish. I was not sick. I actually just needed a little mental health time. I also had some things going on. Every now and again, we need to take a mental health day. Um, there's a lot of changes that's going on that's affecting everybody, um, myself included. So please be mindful of that. Um, everything that you need is below in the description box. Yes, guys, I did make an announcement that I would no longer uh, be um, doing the um, personal readings on the weekday schedule. Um, and I am getting emails because people are trying to book those slots and seeing that nothing is available. It is temporarily gone away for a limited time, whether that limited time is six months or a year. I don't know yet, guys. Things are changing. So if you are interested in booking a reading with me, that information is below. You can book your tarot text reading at 725-202-7060. Okay. Everything that you need is there. You can hashtag AMA. That's ask me anything and form that question. However, you see fit. I am still available on the original schedule, which is email readings, video readings, audio readings, all types of things. So don't get discouraged. Um, everything, again, that you need is below in the description box. If you're interested in the coldestwater.com, that information is below as well. I am going to be doing this a little bit different in an effort to get everything done. The second half of the month starts on Monday, so we will be dropping all of these. Um, everything, everybody else, if you're interested in the order, the order is below in the main video, okay? This is going to be for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. This is the bonus, okay? Okay, the bonus. All right, so I'm not going to show these to you yet. I'm just pulling them right here where you can see. Pisces, your person is stressed out. They're stressed out with your behavior. They feel like you're not focused, yet they they feel as if you make them happy. Um, there is a happiness that they feel with you, and they, they really want to start again, or they want to start when I say again, I don't want to. I don't want to make it sound like there's connotations that there's necessarily a breakup, but they definitely want to start anew. They feel like there are some things in this relationship, Pisces, that is missing. Um, they acknowledge that you make them very happy. They do possibly feel like they wouldn't mind spending the rest of their lives with you, um, but unfortunately, there has been some things that has come up to block this okay so they would like to weather out the storm with you okay show me spirit they feel like you're worth it they want to release and let go of all of the pain pisces they are coming in saying that they're extremely stressed out they're at that they're wits in with you um but this is going to be changing they feel like there's things that they can't say to you for fear you either one won't understand or there will definitely be some type of misunderstanding. They are wearing a false sense, uh, a false self mask because they're afraid to let you know exactly how they're feeling about the situation for fear that it will be perceived wrong. Um, I have heard from a lot of clients and what I have observed about Pisces, depending on um, what else is in your energy. They are afraid that it will be taken the wrong way. So they do wear that mask and, the, and wearing the mask is starting to really stress them out, Pisces. Okay. They're, they're looking at you would take the leap and they don't think that you have faith in yourself, that you guys will be successful. They really want you to take the leap of faith and really have faith and not necessarily rely so much on believing um, them believing in you, but you believing in this relationship, you are coming through in the main energy. Um, they're saying that there is a inconsistency in your behavior or an up and down that they're feeling. However, they really do see wedding bells. They feel as if you are someone who they can spend the rest of their lives with. 
Um, they are acknowledging Pisces collective that they're just things. If you guys can just get on the same accord that you can really be successful together. This is what they're not telling you. And the false self mask is in the heart place. Fix it. They really want to sit down and communicate. They feel like the things that you guys are miscommunicating about are minuscule or small enough where you guys can get over it together as long as you communicate and sit down and fix it. And finally, they are this secret love. I feel like. When I see this, the very first thing that I see is that there are people in your business. Maybe you guys have been going back and forth regarding your feelings for one another or been going through ups and downs. Pisces, they feel like they are a secret um, or that you guys are having the secret meetings because there is an audience that has observed you two together and that it is probably gotten out of hand with people's opinions and people in your business and they really want to come out of the shadows. They feel like they're holding on to everything and ounce of strength that they have because they no longer want to be your secret. And I don't mean that this is a creeping type of situation, but if it resonates with you that way, collective, then take it as it resonates. Okay. Okay. They want to go back to the fun times which is revealing itself at the top of the deck. Um, we're going to go ahead at this point. We're going to find out how you're feeling about this Pisces. Then we're going to end this with a quick me, him, and us, or you, me, and us. One card is going to represent the Pisces collective. The next card is going to represent the cross watcher. And then one card is going to represent the two of you as a unit. Um, that's gonna that's how we're gonna close this and that is gonna be done by the price of love oracle by Miss Crystal Banner. Okay, everything that I use below is in the description box if you are interested in that. I got that deck, guys, and I incorporated it into my personal readings, and I tell you it is very accurate and a me, him, us, or you me us. That's what I'm gonna call it. Um, and I'm going to try to do a whole series around that premise, um, and, you know, figure out how to incorporate it with the you versus them that we did not do for October. Show me how Pisces is feeling. So obviously Pisces, you want to take a trip with this person or again, honeymoon was three different, um, um, things. If you're single, you'll go on a vacation possibly or honeymoon with someone else, not necessarily their honeymoon, but on a trip and meet someone special. If you are coupled, then this means obviously that you guys need to disconnect and enjoy that time, although it's not retreat. Um, or it, it kind of is the same card as retreat, but it is definitely an indication that some TLC between you guys are needed. Okay. Um, and but also it has a connotation that um, there has been or there is um, a wedding desire, like there is a desire to marry you. Um, cross watcher Pisces you also see are, are seeing or are coming through and saying that you guys are in separation or separation is on the horizon maybe you guys are not in separation mode maybe you're just not getting along and this is kind of what's going on right now um, as far as the atmosphere but it's not a clear breakup breakup okay so we're gonna go in with two cards with that represents oh here we go. I'm just going to go in. I don't really. I'm supposed to do that, but I'm not going to do it. We're going to leave those as is, actually, because I want to have time for the you, the you, me, and us. Okay. So that's where we're going to let your energy stand right now. That is where you stand. Okay. I'm going to go ahead. And go in with the card that represents the cross watcher right now. The card that represents the cross watcher is connection. So this is 41. This this um, this particular situation has been a challenge. There's been um, challenging energy surrounding the connection. There's a, the four plus one is five. Two cards came out and wild card. 
Wild card um, is also five fives to, again, double five. So this has gone up and down and all around for them Pisces. On one hand, they feel like the connection is undeniable. The connection is everything to them. Um, on the other hand, the wild card, um, which is also the card of five, carries a connotation of being the equivalent. I'm not going to necessarily say of the tower, but it is like the Joker in a deck where it can go either way. It's the wild card. It can be good or bad depending on how you um, how you interpret it. At the core, it means that your person is saying that anything is possible. Unpredictability, and see, this is um, th this this is the the problem, and this is what the person is is trying to say to you that the connection has been a challenge. Um, there has been a lot of challenges. There has been a lot of unpredictability and that can be good or bad, but they want consistency Pisces. This is what they're saying that they want. So that represents the, 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 them. Okay. And the card that represents you. Oh, wow. It's surrender. So right now, Pisces, you are in an energy of seven. You have a choice. You're making the choice to surrender. It's actually not bad. You're feeling a little defeated. You feel like you're finally, I look at this two ways. On one hand, you may be looking at this situation where you feel like you've been beat up so bad that you want to surrender. But on the other hand, I think that this is really starting to um, way down on you. Um, you know, again, the way that Crystal explains it in her deck universally, universally, the white flag is a sign of surrender. It's interesting that this is water and you are the Pisces when swimming. If you relax, you'll be able to float. The path of no resistance allows you to stay afloat without doing much. If you panic, you can easily start sinking and will be in danger of drowning. You know how to swim. So right now, I think you're trying to let go and let God, um, and you're trying to finally get to the path of surrender so things can start to flow between you and this person. I really do feel like you've been beat up a whole lot, but at the same time, when I'm looking at the fact that your romantic intentions indicate that you really look at this individual as somebody who you want to be with like that, and you're thinking about a honeymoon while you guys are in separation mode or while you guys aren't getting along, that says a lot. And remember, that seven carries a connotation of choices, Pisces. And I think that you are going to make the choice to surrender. But surrender and let God, you know, you're no longer trying to fight it. Whatever comes, you're going to actually go with the flow yourself. And the card that's representing the both of you guys is triggered. So obviously, this is another seven. Um, there's a lot of tension between you guys right now, Pisces, for you and your person. Um, there's a lot of things that's coming out of both of you guys' mouth that is um, and that is triggering you for a certain reaction or a certain behavior, and it is definitely not good. Um, again, I will go into that a little bit. I don't necessarily feel like that's a bad thing, but I do feel like separation is on the horizon because when we look at the top of the deck, separation is there too. Um, this is a time for you guys to just chill out. Honestly, I feel that if you're already in separation mode, um, then you should just go ahead and allow it. It's a sin, um, how we hit where it hurts resurfacing hurt emotional words this is the trigger like there has been arguments there has been things that has not been conducive to the growth of this relationship and is leading you guys to the path of separation i don't feel in your heart of hearts with your person having the wedding bells card and with you having the honeymoon's card honeymoon card that you guys truly want to separate i think that there's a lot of triggering um, you know, rehashing of old emotions, hurt feelings and things that have not been properly processed, Pisces. Um, so we're going to examine this in reverse in the main video, like, share and subscribe to the Marvelous Tribe. I think ultimately it's time for a little separation, but not, of course, in a bad way. I apologize. I just dropped my Florida water. I think that there is definitely a little time to kind of get away from one another, but it's interesting. I don't necessarily think that this is what Crosswatcher wants, obviously, if they want you guys to sit down and talk about it. So like, share, subscribe to the Marvelous Tribe. We will continue Pisces this in the main video. Again, everything that you guys need is below and I'll see you soon. Bye guys.
Thank you.